The first time uh, I saw Greg playing was in uh, Ahram uh, 2006, World Champ. I was a 15 year old, years old kid. And uh, I went and watched all his matches. Uh, and uh, I loved the way he played. He inspired me so much the way he played that tournament. He lost, unfortunately, the final. He had a lot of match points. But, uh, but I remember uh, after this tournament, he was the one I had in my mind. I just wanted to do everything he did. Uh, it was so inspiring, actually, watching him play. At 22 years old, he made the final. and. Uh, it was unbelievable. I, I remember the way he played there. It was unbelievable. My first British Open win was against him in the final. And uh, the moment I won the last point, he hugged me and his team all came and congratulated me because they knew how big of a moment it was to win that British Open because he had it before me. Uh, he won it twice, I think, before. Uh, to, he, he, had it, he had it two times in his bag already. And um, he, he was uh, honestly he, so kind and he had such a good heart and uh, uh, I mean, he has, I mean, not just that before, he has such a good heart and uh, of course whenever I asked him for help or, or, or any advice, he was always advising me. Play with, <laughs> there weren't many favourite memories from playing him, he was, uh, he was a, a fierce competitor and I guess um, I sort of, I sort of wit witnessed him as a player from a, you know, from a very young age. Uh, it was obviously a formidable junior player, um, and then towards the end of my career, he was obviously just um, coming through to the sort of heights that he reached in his career. So um, it, we had some great matches. Um, I think I beat him up a few times. He certainly beat me up a few times, probably a few more. Um, but yeah, just a fierce competitor. Um, wore his heart on his sleeve. As everyone could see, um, you know, he was very emotional at times, and, and um, I think that just sort of, you know, led to him being one of the sort of great characters and great players of the game. Um, I think as a as a player, I was certainly glad to retire and not have to not have to play him anymore, to be honest. Um, but then in the role that I'm in now, I, I mean, I'm incredibly incredibly sad to see him go. You know, he's one of the game's characters, and we need characters. Um, you know, some of the most memorable matches I can remember um, in the role that I'm in now certainly involve Greg. Um, probably from a, you know, from a from a just a true sort of incredible match from a squash perspective, but also the stuff around it, you know, his celebrations, the way he sort of, um, like I say, probably wore his heart on his sleeve and, 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 and that came across, um, you know, and I think that sort of all came together with the emotion that he saw when he won the, eventually won the World Champs, has to be, you know, after coming so close for so many times. Um, yeah, the, you know, it's, it's definitely gonna leave a, a hole at the top of the spot. Greg, just wanted to say happy retirement. These things are often made out to sound really sad, but I think it should be a celebration of an amazing career. The best French player of all time, an amazing rival of mine and the whole of our generation. I can't believe that you played so long and so successfully on the tour. Looking back, we had some amazing battles. We've known each other since we were 12 years old. Uh, played each other the first time, I think I was 18 and you were 16, you had red hair at the time and um, we've had some amazing battles all around the world but the thing that stands out for me most, more than any of those battles, is the friendship. You taught me so much about how to um, take defeat with respect for your opponent and how to have the equivalent of a beer in the bar after and show great respect and camaraderie with your opponents. I learned so much from you in that respect. I learned how to be confident on the court. Your style was so unique. Um, you had charisma, you still do. You've got a wonderful family, both on and off the court, and I wish you all the best in the future. Well, you know, I mean, I can't, it wasn't always easy. I mean, I'm not going to, let's not sugarcoat this. And I don't think he'll mind me saying that. Let's, you know, it's, it, you know we've got to be uh, honest about it. You know, we were both sort of playing at the very top of our levels and it's not always going to be nice, is it, on there? And it's, you know, we were, we were very different characters, um, which is what makes, makes thing, you know, that's what, what people like. You know, it's no point it's all been the same. And he was, we were very opposite, really. Um, you know, I'm, I'm quiet and calm and he's... Um, boisterous and demonstrative, and lets lets his feelings out very expressively, and, and that's what people loved about him quite rightly as well. It was at times it was great to see, um, and the entertainment factor, no doubt, that translates to fans. It really does, and it also translates to 
people who aren't fans of the game, you know, so it, was, it was a great thing for squash. But um, you know, we had some tough, tough battles on court, and um, you know, there's some great ones that I remember. I remember playing him here in Qatar, and we got a bit, we got a bit uh, arsy with each other. I think if I remember, I remember taking his racket out of his hand and throwing it on the floor, <laughs> and <laughs> I got booed if I remember rightly, because um, he was usually the favourite, the crowd favourite. Um, you know, but then massive respect as well, and always off the court. You know, he was a very affectionate person, um, very respectful. Greg, I wish you all the best for your new chapter. I will miss you a lot. I will miss your dancing, and I will miss your big celebration. The squash will miss a big champion, but we all know you will be around us. So I will see you around and I wish you again all the best. Bye! Yeah, first we, yeah, when we played the European Team Championship, maybe the first time I was 18. And uh, I remember we played in, uh, in our town in Aix-en-Provence. Uh, I was just number five in the team, he was on top. Um, sharing that time with Thierry, Greg, um, and all these guys, it was uh, of course uh, uh, just uh, an honor, and uh, and it gave me a lot of uh, um, experience as well. Uh, I just can't say uh, well thank you enough for for them, because Thierry and Greg had, they had been for me all of my career. Uh, yeah, just uh, hope he. Uh, He'll enjoy the, the new life and I hope I can uh, put the French flag on top again. Uh, maybe, uh, well, at least in the top 10. And, uh, and I would never be, of course, the, the, the player I am today without, uh, without him, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I was calling a friend, you know, before I played with, with Gregory Gauthier, you know, I said to him, like, oh my God, like the Tom Flies, you know, like uh, two years or three years, I was uh, only like, Clapping for him, you know, cheering for him. Uh, I like the way he plays. I like the way you know he celebrates inside the court, having like like he's he's so good for the sport, you know, and um, it's a loss for the sport, a loss for all of us, for definitely for sure. So uh, when I, I played against him, I I don't want to think that I'm playing against you know how did you know because like uh, he's an idol for me, Shurbagi, Mohammed Shurbagi, you know, Karim Abdul Gawad. They are all like I learned from them everything so uh, I'm so pleased that I'm playing with them and like to to be able like to catch Greg Booty before he retires it was my it was a dream and it came true and also like I think after four or five years you know, I will remember that I, oh, I played with, with Gregory Booty so uh, so I wish him all the best you know yeah I was uh, I didn't watch much squash when I was growing up uh, in New Zealand actually but um, he was always one of the the ones that I sort of admired, you know, he, he can go into the splits, bounce back out, like his, his athleticism was just um, unbelievable. And then when I actually came to Holland, I was lucky enough, um, he played for the same league team that I trained at in Holland, and he came for, for a league match and we, we got on court. And yeah, just the intensity, um, you know, I was very, very nervous uh, training with him, you know, he's a legend, um, Goldsy, and I looked up to him, someone I tried to, you know, em emulate a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, our first training session, we played a few rallies and I swear I sent him the wrong way and um, I was super happy, you know, that doesn't happen for me much but to do that against Greg and then, uh, you know, I just turn around like quite happy and he's just like, play a lap, I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry, and just had to chuck him the ball and replay the rally so I thought that's, that's it, you know, I'll send uh, Greg the wrong way of practice anymore, so. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a pleasure to have him uh, on, on the same generation as me, I learned a lot from him and um, of course we have tough battles but but after all, uh, I think I, I have a good friendship with him, and hopefully in the next year we can, you know, uh, do things together and see if still him each other. Not not from a competition, you know, match which is very tough when I play him, but more like uh, for having a beer or of having a chat, we would be very good and remembering the the thing we spent all these years. I, I play European individuals with him. I play like uh, I lost four finals against him. I beat him once. And uh, but yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm, since juniors we play so many times, PSA and, and Europeans and teams, uh, individuals, I mean so much. But uh, and what I say like is like every match against him was so tough, so difficult. He's such a difficult player to play, so powerful. His movement was one of the best 
in, in the last 20 years, I think his movement was so quick, so fast, so balanced when he moved. Uh, and he can play really good shots from very tough positions because of his power on the legs, on the on the core. Uh, if at the end of my career I, I can win at least one major title, I will be very proud of. And uh, he done so many in squash, and uh, he put the, the French flag uh, very high in the squash uh, in the squash world. And uh, yeah, so so since so many years he, he was on top, and uh, yeah, we are we are so thankful for for what he's done. When what he what he has done for squash and uh, and for French team as well. I I don't know um, the number, but he, he never lost uh, matches in uh, in with a French flag. You know, him. we need him. Uh, we need him because he have um, he have big experience. Uh, he knows uh, squash very well, and uh, he knows uh, the momentum. He knows uh, how to speak with people. He is very uh, emotional and very. Uh, to people and uh, he know he knows how to uh, to buy the team around him and uh, uh, maybe uh, with the French flag is not over we don't know maybe we'll uh, still uh, wear the French shirt one time I'm pretty sure he wants uh, one time PSA is over but um, French French squash and French uh, young athlete need uh, Greg to uh, for the future and for uh, like to keep the French flag very high.